We told you earlier this week about the bankruptcy filing by the parent company of Colgan Air. Almost half of the flight 3407 families have pending claims against Pinnacle. At the same time, News 4's Rachel Kingston reports the company has been paying fat bonuses to its high flying execs. The numbers are staggering. According to information from the Western New York Congressional Delegation, bankrupt Pinnacle Airlines Corporation paid its outgoing CEO, Philip Trenary, a severance package worth $1.7 million and gave COO John Spangers a $125,000 raise. Arrogance, total disregard for uh, decency, for what's right, I mean, really speaks to the lack of uh, integrity with respect to the individuals and the company involved. The revelations come just two days after Pinnacle filed for Chapter 11. On top of that, the company still has not settled wrongful death lawsuits with 23 families of Flight 3407 crash victims. This saga just doesn't end. I mean, these families have been suffering for so long. I was out there just on the three year anniversary of them um, two months ago. They have claims to pay to these families, and they give these bonuses. Uh, this is, it's, it's more than the people in this district want to deal with. A Pinnacle spokesman tells News 4 Trenary's settlement was part of his contract and was awarded in March 2011, well prior to the bankruptcy filing. Spangers, he says, has been asked to assume additional responsibilities and that his compensation was, quote, adjusted accordingly. That explanation doesn't hold weight with Higgins or Hochul, who argues Pinnacle has a history of underpaying its pilots. Rebecca Shaw, Flight 3407's first officer, made only $16,000 a year. Even a year ago, they were not properly paying their employees. The problem with the employee payments, these underpaid individuals, started last May as well. So they've known they're heading down the slope for a while. The congressional delegation has sent Pinnacle a letter voicing its disgust.